All right, everyone, welcome back to the Game Joe with Dark PV1. Today, we're going to be doing a tier list of the best waifus in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. And if you like these kinds of videos, let me know in the comments section down below. So we're going to jump right into the video, starting from our 1 to 10 ranking system. 1 being the lowest, and as the numbers rise, the better the character is as a waifu. So here we go, we're going to get started right at the bottom. We have an obvious one being Olimar. Shocker, but not really a big shock. Next up we have Diddy Kong, who is not only a monkey, but is most likely underaged. Ew, am I right? Next up we have a two-pack here, the Pokemon Trainer and Charizard. Now while I think Charizard is a cool Pokemon, he's lazy and rude, so I don't think he'd make a very good waifu. As for the Pokemon Trainer, he's only 10, so scratch him from the list as well. Lucas and Ness? You guessed it. Too young and would be terrible choices of waifu either way. Okay, now we have Solid Snake under the 2 slot. While Snake is reliable and strong, he's also a chain smoker who doesn't really care too much about intimacy. So he's better, but he's still out. Next is Donkey Kong. He's only higher on the list than Diddy because of his age, but he's still a monkey. I'm not really about that life. Next is Captain Falcon, who is similar to Snake in the sense they both are gross old men who most likely chain smoke on the reg. Alright, next is Game & Watch under the threes. It seems like it'd be pretty kinky being married to a flat waifu, but I'm only a little into it to be honest. Next up we have a change in the ranks here. We're gonna stick Wario down in the one slot because ew it's Wario the fartmonger. Uh, now back up to the three slot. We got Squirtle who's a pretty cute Pokemon, but I'm not sure about the age or the gender. Uh, situation, but that's why Squirtle isn't higher on the list. Next we have Toon Link, who again is definitely underage and this is a no-go situation, so we're putting him back at the bottom. Okay, this might be a weird one, but King Dedede under 4 because of his pink outfit and because as a waifu being able to command Waddle Dees is a pretty nice perk, but he's still a giant penguin so I'll have to pass and leave him this low on the list. Next up is Falco. Meh. Med Knight, not, to, not too much to say with this one, but I like the strong silent types, so I'm putting him here. Yoshi is one of the weird ones where I don't know how he would fill the role of waifu, but I'd like to give him a fair chance, and 5 seems like a good spot for him. Okay, starting to get to the more positive side of the list here. At 6, we are starting with Kirby, a lot like Med Knight, except pink, which gives him a boost in the ranks for sure. Another missed lower spot I'm giving to Mario, who, while he does know how to rock a wedding dress pretty well, is also a closeted necrophiliac. Allegedly. Allegedly, Nintendo, don't sue. I hear he once made out with a dry bone, so yuck, I'm not into that. Next up is the Golden Wonder himself, Adult Link, the master of tools. Imagine the kinds of things he could accomplish in the bedroom, if you catch my drift. <laughs> Next is Ike. and. I can make up something about how it's nice that he fights for his friends or something like that, but honestly, I think he's just got a fine booty. Next up is the master of mayhem and destruction himself, and I'm a sucker for someone with power and someone who isn't afraid to dominate me. Now, that being said, that's why Bowser hasn't reached as high of a place on this list as others, but he's still up there, because he's definitely a pretty high tier in this situation. Next is Lucario, who I could definitely see being into some weird stuff and teaching me a lesson if I get out of line. Alright, Sonic is literally only on this list because of his speed and that we'd never be late to anything. Ever. Ever. Alright, next up is the Ice Climbers, and while I'm not about the uh, idea of polygamy, I don't think I could choose only one in this case. And I'm not sure how old they are, but if they are underage, we're going to throw them at the bottom. But let's just assume they're at 18 and move on. Okay, Martha's a pretty boy and deserves to be high on this list, so I can't help but put him on the 8 tier of this list. Next up is Ganondorf. Now hear me out. Imagine him in just a cooking apron. I'll let that sit for a bit. You're welcome. Next up is Jigglypuff, who like Kirby is round and pink, but is also a girl, probably, and is a pop star. And I've always wanted to marry a pop star, so screw it. Next up, Luigi. Nuff said. Up to the 9 spot, 
And we got Pit, the little angel who, like Ganondorf, can also rock the only wearing an apron look and pull it off magnificently. Next is Rob, who while he may be a lifeless robot, is also probably really good at chores and wouldn't get sick of my constant whining. Which is a total perk in my opinion. Alright, Pikachu, the cutest Pokemon in the game, who has red cheeks. Red cheeks. Nuff said. Foxy Boy. We all knew this would be high on the list if you've seen my Star Fox Assault playthrough. He's just so deep and brooding and I'm not just talking about his butt. Alright, we're to the obvious ones now. Peach, 10. Sheik, 10. Alright, Ivysaur, 10. But let me elaborate a little on this one. We can cuddle, and he can use his vines to make stuff while we continue to cuddle. It's double the awesomeness. Alright, next up, Zero Suit Samus, 10. Zelda, 10. Okay, Samus, 10, but higher than Zero Suit Samus? Because I think the suit is hot. And now for the grand finale, the moment you've all been waiting for, the best waifu in the game. My number one choice of waifu has got to, and has always been, Wolf of Star Wolf. Just the way his fur is, and his don't mess with me eyes, the way he brushes the hair out of his face, oh god. He is just the best waifu, hands down. And yes, I made this whole video just to plug my main waifu wolf. And y'all fell for it. And now you will all know the sexiness that is Wolf O'Donnell. So step your game up, 10 to 1, and maybe one day you can get on this wolf rank. Alright, I hope y'all liked this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. This has been the Game Joe with Dark PB1, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.